Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to the PlayStation Experience 2015. I'm joined by Eric Limpel, and I want to talk to you about the PlayStation Network. Um, the word historic has been thrown around a lot lately, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say things are going pretty well. <laughs> Things are going really well, Meredith. It's been an incredible few months. Uh, you know, the past few months we released a ton of great titles. Our exclusive partnership with Call of Duty, Black Ops 3, Destiny, Star Wars Battlefront. More people are playing on the network. More people are connecting on the network. And, uh, you know, in the past couple months we delivered some new features to make it easier to connect and get a great content. We've got community features now, our events hub. So it's a really exciting time. Things are going really well. Now, we're not just talking about PlayStation Network. We also have the PS View. We've got PS Now, PS Music. Talk to us a little bit about all those services that they're offering. Well, of course, in addition to the great gaming services, we've got a ton of other entertainment options. And when we put the PlayStation name on our different entertainment options, we want to make them great, really exciting, innovative services. So um, you know, starting out with that, we have PlayStation View, something new for this year, um, really exciting, a different way to get at TV and all of your TV. Um, you know, this is available in seven cities right now, and there are also individual channels available nationwide. Um, and one of the big things we heard from people, we launched this on PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4, was that they wanted to get on other devices. So recently we introduced iPad, iPhone, Amazon Fire Stick, Amazon Fire TV, and we're coming out on Chromecast soon. So this is a really innovative service. It's a great alternative to cable. If you hate your cable company, <laughs> you should definitely check out PlayStation View. Um, and then the, the other thing we heard from people about this service was that they want ESPN. And, and that was not a shock for us. So we announced a couple weeks ago that we've got ESPN coming to PlayStation View very soon, along with Disney and ABC. So it's the full, well-rounded offer. Very exciting. That's wonderful. That's better than most cable packages out there that you can actually get. Yeah. And then beyond that, we also have our music service, which is our partnership with Spotify. Um, all of our fans really love Spotify. They love playing music behind their games. And um, see that guy, he's excited. <laughs> um, but um, but um, yeah, but they, they love playing music behind their games. We saw over 5 million people download that application in just a few months, and we want to keep making that better, keep making that integrate with the service. And, um, and the other service that I'll talk about is, is PlayStation Now. Um, and this is a service that a lot of people Woo! know, some fans in the audience. Um, but what you really need to understand about PlayStation Now, you know, we made some changes to what that is, and it truly is a service. And it's a service that delivers a ton of great games. Um, you know, in the past month, we increased the offering by 105 games, bringing it to over 250 games are in that service. So you're basically paying one price, and you're playing as much as you want. And in the last few weeks, we added a lot of great content, a ton of great content from Capcom. We just added great content from 2K, like Borderlands, Bioshock. Um, this coming week, one of my favorites from PS3 is coming in the, uh, from Warner Brothers Interactive, Batman Arkham Asylum. So really great stuff. I mean, there's 250 titles there. People should really check it out. Now, speaking of some titles, I heard a little bit about some PS2 games that are actually going to be coming to the PS4. There are, but let, me, but let me tell you one more thing about PlayStation now before sure. we jump off of that. So, because we just announced this yesterday, and I think it hasn't hit the whole audience yet, but you can get a special version of this service here at the show exclusively for $99 for the year. So you can subscribe to this service. It's normally $19.99 a month. It's $99 for the year. That's here at the show, but if you're at home and watching, you can get this starting Tuesday on PlayStation Network. So that's a great way to jump in. It's a little more than $8 a month, and it's a lot of games. I mean, I, there's so much you can play in there. I think people should really check it out. Definitely, and that's such a great price. And so, so let's talk a little about PS2. Yes, please. So um, you know, a lot of people have been asking for a while. You know, we have some great historic PS2 games. People have been with a platform and PlayStation brand for a while. So we, we did a little thing behind the scenes. And um, today, we're launching some PS2 titles on the network, which you can get. And the difference is they're not classics in the way that you're going to play them the way they were. They've been up and we've added all of the PlayStation 4 features. So you can use remote play, share play. They all have trophies, and they're in HD. Cool. So there's great titles um, you know, from the PS2 era, like Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, San Andreas, Dark Cloud, Mark of Cree, Twisted Metal Black. I mean, really great stuff. So we'll look to continue to roll that out. But you know, if you're new to the platform, you should definitely check these out, because they look great and they play great. Or if you just remember them from way back when, you should certainly check them out. Wonderful. So how do you think this whole PlayStation experience is going? I mean, it's a pretty, pretty overwhelming it, to be here with everybody. It, it's, it's absolutely overwhelming. I, I mean, it's fantastic. And uh, you know, I love it. It's in, our, it's in our home base, San Francisco. 
Um, you know, yesterday, driving through the streets, there are people everywhere with PlayStation Store bags. I mean, PlayStation fans have taken over San Francisco, and, uh, and it's great. I mean, we love doing this. Everything we do is for the PlayStation fans. Um, you know, thank all of you for being here. Thanks for always giving us feedback on the blog or otherwise. We take that feedback to heart. We always want to make things better and better for you. And for everybody at home watching, um, you know, check out the PlayStation Store. There's a ton of great stuff that was announced today yep. that, uh, that people here will probably check out on the floor or maybe later tonight. Wonderful. Eric, thank you so much for stopping thank, by. Thank, thank you, you for all the great, great info. Thank you, everybody. All right, up next, we're going to have a conversation with Killing Floor 2. PlayStation.